What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here today we're unboxing this new DC Multiverse set and so this is one of the newest, uh, newer sets that come out and so this is the set that's the collect and connect or build figure whatever you want to call it for a rookie which we'll show in the back um, when I've shown on one of the back because you don't really see this stuff like you can see down here but it's not really in the camera to see it because once again I can't fit all these in but in this set we have a um, just a DC um, Rebirth Batman, the Rebirth Batwing. We have um, this says Batman Year Two, the Reaper, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Adam. Um, so if you've seen the DC uh, Le um, Legends of Tomorrow TV show on the CW, you'll recognize him. And then the We Are Robin from the that storyline of the We Are Robin, the War. And this is Duke Thomas from that set. And so each of these, obviously, as I said, come with the piece to build and. They call it Collect and Connect figure of Rookie, which is the giant, um, like, Batman robot type thing that uh, uh, Jim Gordon uses when uh, Bruce Wayne disappears. And so there's no bad Batman, and he kind of takes over the place. He has this suit that he uses, and it's called Rookie, and it's just a big uh, mechanical suit. So as I said, each thing comes with pieces for this and then you obviously build it all together so we'll go ahead and open these and go through each one um, each figure individually and then of course at the end we'll build all of Rookie together and um, cover that and so I'll get all these out of the boxes and we'll start looking at them and so first off here we have the DC Rebirth Batman so this is um, it's the Rebirth because they obviously um, re kind of like restarted over the DC comics after the new 52 and so this is the, his Rebirth outfit that Batman now currently has. And so as you see, he's got the gold outline bat on his chest and his classic gold belt and everything. And he kind of has the little bat heads on the knee pads, which he's been having more recently. I don't know if it's... Uh, I guess it doesn't really look like there. In more recent times, he's had things they look like actual bats. This one just has a kind of design, sort of with like the ear pointed ears and stuff of like the bat head um, but this Batman's pretty plain I'll go ahead and show you an up close of his face there looks kind of cool though I like the Batman look and he's got a um, his black cape with the purple um, dark purplish blue there on the inside um, that he has a lot he always has usually a lot of colors on the inside not just black and stuff um, but he's just very plain and basic this version of Batman and the surprising thing is especially for this he does not come with any weapons at all Usually Batman comes with like every accessory under the world, you know, for kids because they obviously if they get a Batman, they'll want a Batman and then all sorts of stuff like batarangs, grappling hook, all sorts of things that you can use with Batman. But this one just doesn't come with anything. He's just plain and simple. Um, but just to read his little bio, it says as the Dark Knight detective, Batman be must protect Gotham City from the maniacal Two-Face. So I guess in this DC Rebirth story, he's uh, taking on Two-Face or something, at least that goes along with this part. But then he also does come with the right leg of Rookie. So this is our first part, and you can see how tall it's going to be. Obviously, it's almost the same height as Batman himself, just one leg. Um, so we'll set that aside and again build that later like we usually do. But that's it for the um, DC Rebirth Batman. And next up we have what they're calling Batman Year 2 Reaper. So I've never seen this character. And I do remember when I was reading the comics they had the Batman Year 1. And so this is Year 2. So I don't know um, exactly what um, who this character is at all. Um, but it looks really cool. So it has like all these like sp um, studded spikes. It's like it's got them along the chest. On its uh, arm pads and knee pads and stuff. So it's got the little um, spikes just all over him. And of course it's just all red. And he has this... Um, silver uh, like skeleton head mask thing and it looks like I like the way he looks and he does come with a cape so similar to Batman but this one is just obviously all black um, but there's not a whole lot to him just a lot of red <laughs> he's just a lot of red and um, looks really cool but he does also come with these um, hand uh, like sickles that I think you can like pop his hands out or something and put these in and you know he has like two giant sickles on his hand like cha 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 He's going to like chop you all up or something. Um, so that looks really cool. I want to do that, but I'm afraid with characters like these to take body parts off and stuff because I'm afraid I'm going to like break hands and everything. Uh, but just some information on the Reaper says, uh, Judson Cas um, Caspian's alter ego. Will his murderous crime spree force Batman to make an uncomfortable partnership with Joe Chill? Which I don't know who that Joe Chill is. I have heard of it before, like back when I read the comics. But I don't know exactly who 
his name is for like who that is for sure. Um, I want what's popping in my head is the Joker, but I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Um, but this just looks really awesome to me. At least I think the Reaper looks cool. And then we got like the upper chest torso of um, Rookie here. Um, it's kind of hard to see. In, oh, there we go. And so you can see there's like the Batman chest in there because, as I said, I think like when um, Jim Gordon became the Batman, he would you know be in the Batman suit and then he would get into this suit. I didn't know this chest plate came, plate came off, so that's really cool. Now I don't know how to get it back on or something but I saw it that you could kind of see the logo in there so I was going to like hold it up like this and kind of show you but then this chest place came off so that's really cool that it does that but you can see he's got like the um, whole guns and stuff on him he has like red and white lights or red and blue lights or whatever like a um, police officer where it says GCPD so Gotham City Police Department and everything and so that's just like his uh, upper chest torso or whatever so we'll set that aside and that is the Reaper and next up here we have Duke Thomas. Now this is the leader of the We Are Robin group, so that's why he has the giant R. Because when uh, Damien disappears or whatever happens, so I think he dies or something um, for a while before he comes back, um, they form the We Are Robin group like a bunch of teens or younger people do to like help Batman replace Robin, like keep a watch out on the city and stuff. So it's cool that he has this helmet. I, um, I've never seen this helmet. Like I've seen this character before in the comics. Um, cause right about when the We Are Robin story was going on is when I, um, had to stop reading and spending money on comics and stuff. But he has this helmet that looks pretty cool. I assume it's like a homemade, but it has the Robin R on it, the side there. And then it's got eyes and I like these lines. It kind of looks, um, birdish to me. I don't know why cause there's like nothing there, but just when I look at it, I just think of a bird. But it's really cool. So he has the like red and blue or red and green colors of Robin. And so he has a belt with um, pockets and stuff on it. And then of course like normal tennis shoes like a kid would wear. And so to go with this you also get um, Duke Thomas's head. And so you can see more of what he looks like. So you can obviously pop this helmet um, head and helmet off and put that on so it just be the normal um, character. And then he also does come for weapons. He has a set of nunchucks here that you can obviously stick in his hand. And then this, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, whether it's a grenade or a can of spray paint. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, but I'm thinking it's probably like a smoke grenade or something. And you can just stick it in his hand to throw. And so some information on Duke Thomas. It says, as a child, he teams up with Bruce Wayne to defeat the Riddler and later becomes the leader of the We Are Robin. And so that's some information on him. And then he also comes with the left leg of Rookie. So get more pieces there to add on. So that is Duke Thomas. And next up now we have the DC Rebirth of Batwing. And so Batwing was a um, kind of a cool character to me in my opinion. Because back when I read when Batwing was first introduced, he was like a Batman of Africa. So he um, had like money and stuff. And so he was able to get like a tech suit and I think Batman ended up contact, like helping him along the way and stuff getting a better suit um, which still was not this suit but uh, he then from there he joined the Batman Incorporated squad and so like a worldwide Batman group type thing and uh, then you know ended up joining Batman later on stuff once his comic got cancelled originally so this looks really cool like I said it's not the original costume it used to be like a blue and silver like all blue and silver outfit but now it's all black and has um the bat logo here which looks like it may be glows or something because there's like a blue outline on his chest i'm not sure if you can see that there so it may like light up the blue still and stuff but it just looks like a um, normal like batman outfit just all black and everything and so there's not much else to him but he does come with his set of wings so that's the thing that makes um bat wing he's a like has wings that fly and stuff even though I always thought it was funny because Batwing is also the name of Batman's airplane. Um, but he has these wings and stuff, like I said, that helps him fly and everything. And he always had the wings with the original suit too. So it just looks super cool. I think that looks so awesome with these wings and everything on it. Um, and so he doesn't come with any other accessories. But some information on him, it says, Mass Vigilante who uses technology and weaponry in the name of Justice later becomes a member of Batman Incorporated. So as I mentioned there... Um, and so he does come with some, obviously, pieces to Rookie. He has his right and left arm. So usually, you know, one arm with one character, one arm with another character. But for some reason, they both come with him. And then he also comes with the gun 
for uh, Rookie, so I don't know if I can get this in there, but we will when we put it together. But yeah, he puts the gun in his hand. So he comes with three parts to Rookie, which is kind of cool. And so that is Batwing. And our last character here is the Atom, of course, from DC's Legends of Tomorrow TV show on the CW. So this is the Atom, and he's played by uh, Brandon Routh, which I believe played Superman and Superman Returns back in like 2005-ish era. Um, so this is just Adam with his uh, red and blue outfit. I don't know much to it. Um, like obviously he has all sorts of things like on his arm and stuff to be able to control and give him powers and everything. Um, but like I said, I don't know a whole lot about Adam. I know he like can control Adam so he can like shrink and stuff. Which speaking of shrinking, he does come with a little tiny Adam here. So if you want to make it where he like shrink down or whatever, you can have this little character to go in its place. It doesn't move or anything like this one does obviously like the arms move and stuff. This one does not do any of that so you get the little atom there. And then if you don't want this uh, mask version on you can get the head which is the Brandon Routh head which doesn't really look like it to me in this design. Um, but you can replace that if you wanted to. And so information on the atom it says scientist and CEO of Palmer Industries who invented a shrinking suit. So there you go. He has a suit that he shrinks down into the little tiny Adam version there. And then, of course, his pieces for Rookie. We get the head or the helmet, whatever, of Rookie. I mean, it's a robot, so it's probably just the head, not a helmet. And then we get, I don't know what you call this, um, like the lower torso, the crotch of the um, Rookie. Obviously, where his legs go in and stuff. And it looks like, kind of like Batman, I mean, he has some like pockets on his um, belt whatever there so we now have all the pieces for rookie and so that was Adam so now we have all the pieces for rookie so I'll just kind of lay him out here now um, so we can obviously once um, I will uh, turn the can or stop the recording or whatever and then put it together because it takes too long to do it on camera um, so of course like I said now we have all the pieces of rookie here to go together so I'll um, put them all together and bring it right back Okay, so Rookie's all put together now, so you can see how big and boisterous this um, blue robot, police robot is and stuff. So as I said, this is the robot that uh, Jim Gordon ends up using when Batman disappears, and so it just helps him to fight crime and everything. And as I mentioned, with the chest coming off, you can see what's supposed to be him underneath, or like inside the suit with his um, Batman outfit that he wears and stuff. So it's cool that you can take this chest piece off and on and off. And so I guess with him in there, this does become like a helmet. But I believe this suit does work if he's even not in there and everything. But so we obviously looked over um, the pieces and everything. So he has like these um, guns where usually or where like rockets go into and stuff. But there's none in there currently. And so it's a police outfit. So it has red and blue lights and everything. The GCPD. And then it's got, the, of course, armor all over. Like on the arms and everything. It does have a gun in the um, right hand here. And then, of course, it's belt, and then it does have what looks kind of like to be like bat heads on its as its kneecaps again. And then um, more blue lines, or with the white lines and stuff that kind of are all throughout out its body and stuff. And so it just looks super cool. And so just to get a measurement, we will then throw a Batman in here next to it so you can see the size difference between the two, how big Rookie is. And it just looks super cool. But that's going to be it for this DC Multiverse um, Collect and Connect Rookie set or Build a Figure Rookie, whatever you want to call it, of different Batman and DC characters, mostly Batman, except for the Adam. I don't know why they don't include all the same like set of characters and stuff. But that's it for this um, review or whatever, building, well, I don't know what you call it type thing. Um, but for Rookie, as I said, um, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, leave any comments you have down below, and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.